Hello, I'm Toycat and welcome back to another part of the Far Cry Let's Play. As you can see, we've got some TV going on today. We were wrong. Or oh, not for long we don't. And we also have a comic book to collect, because there happened to be a comic book where we were last time, where we got peaches, because guess what? We have a cougar dog double team magic happening today. So yeah, first of all though, uh, today we're gonna be doing a little bit of collectible, just kind of roaming around the place. I want to do some big outpost missions. Outposts get me excited. I've said it before, I'll say it again. And because of that, uh, it allows me to explore the area, which is good for main missions anyway. That's my justification at least. So in today's part, I'm gonna be doing one collectible because there is a lighter found just nearby here. I think you'll find just over there. It's next to a pickup truck, so two things at once. And then we're gonna drive off down to the south and find me some of these people and also find some outposts to take down. There's seven per region or something like that. And you know, I, I'm gonna treat myself and take down an outpost today. It's gonna be great fun. And I hope you'll enjoy joining me because I've got, again, my cat dog, Jewel team, hit me up to, to help me with this. So I'm gonna hop over this river now. I feel like that's gonna be good to get into the, oh God, no, you can't just hop over it. There's not an, oh, and the, the water supply has faith in it too. Or whatever, it's called bliss. This area is pretty messed up. So it looks like every area has its own like scary culty thing. And this area's scary culty thing is like, oh, by the way, they uh we we put faith in uh, bliss sorry, in everything. Like the water supply. Like if you're getting high from the water, I feel like drugs work on a tolerance basis, right? So like if you're getting high from the water, you're essentially just not getting high. Throw that in there. Then we'll send in the dogs to the rest. Send the dog over there. Send the cat over there. And then we'll take out the third guy by ourselves. So yeah, this is how we can date town places a lot easier now. Oh, we can find a little message. Return to the garden. Exciting. Oh, it tells us where a shrine is. So we can just send a dog after that those people. And in the meantime, we can deal with the, the lighter. Because somewhere around here, I mean, it's hard to tell because there's a lot of fire, but there is meant to be a lighter around here somewhere. Oh, I think the dogs are burning. I think that's not a good noise. I wonder if they'll pick each other up when they go down. If so, that's like going to be pretty powerful. Okay, so... Have you seen the bliss at the end of its life? When you play it for the world to come. Uh, Herald's Gate, we can say the battle's collapsed. There's going to be a lot of barrels somewhere, is what that message says. I didn't... You know, like, it's just a bit too many lines to read while we're focused on this. I think if we shoot that, it'll explode. That's nice. Just wanted to be sure, you know. It's a bit weird to put it inside a house. And then somewhere around here, there's going to be a Vietnam lighter. Uh, exactly where that is, is beyond me. What does the icon even look like? Like, you can see it's here. Okay, it's behind me somewhere. Behind the pickup. So, like, at the back here, we're going to find some form of Vietnam era lighter. And that's going to help us. So oh, it's going to be down here. Easy said, easy done. Should be a prepper stash as well, if I'm not mistaken. Just jump off, jump down, here we go. And guess what? We got ourselves a shotgun, we got ourselves... Not a whole bunch else, actually. But there should also be... There we go, there's a lighter. Tim's lighter. And again, somehow this all works into some huge quest across the whole thing. It's it's just a collectible like every game has. Oh, it's, it's her again. So she just runs around the place and she lets you do psychedelic missions. How is she, is she really just getting away of walking around like this? Can I kill her? Oh, she teleports away. I mean, makes sense. So she's literally, I wish I'd blown her up, honestly. I wish I had. So I know I shouldn't, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I need the vehicle. I was like, you know, I shouldn't blow that up, but I need to. We're gonna try our hardest not to, and also not run over our cats and dogs. So get away from the barrel, Boomer. Get away from the barrel. I just can't not do the shot, you know? There we go. Like, not blowing things up when you're surrounded by explosives is the, the most self-control I think anyone can have. So we're gonna drive down to this road. Then we're gonna follow the road south. Maybe even free some prisoners on the way. Oh, they're getting pretty far away, actually. I mean, they can free themselves, right? Actually, I think I need to unlock them. See, I'm doing so many good deeds today. And also, we are in the no death phase. I said a while ago, no more silly deaths. And I'm going to stick to that. They were gonna you, kill you believe me? Oh, there's a Thank you so much. enemy in the distance over there. Easy stuff. Help me. Friends, it's good. You can get in the vehicle if you want to. 
And then we're gonna drive this way. First outpost will be fine. We're taking it down. We find a mission instead. We can do that instead. It's gonna be nice. And I'm hoping both the followers don't get bored of that or whatever. I don't know. We're gonna have to wait and see, I guess. Also, no radio, please. Like, I, I'm really scared. So, fun fact using radio in like games is a really bad idea on YouTube. Because a lot of these games, they license the radio for their game, but they don't have. They can't license that game music for third parties. So, if you play it on YouTube, you might get a strike or something. And given that YouTube's detection algorithm only gets better, it's really easy if you if you made a song that happened to be in a video game, if if it just doesn't even if it just says nothing in your contract about YouTube distribution, a lot of artists can just make money that way. And because there's gonna be a lot of Far Cry 5 videos, it stands to reason that eventually one of them will have um It does stand to reason that eventually one of them would have, you know, your music in, or in fact a lot of them would, like one in every ten or something. And then you can cash in the checks because all the money goes to you instead of the copy uh, the the video maker. And again, it's, it's messed up, but like, you know, the logic is like, what if someone stole your music? And it's just, you know, YouTube doesn't understand the complexities of like, a video game that just happens to include song music, so... Boom! I believe that was an enemy, in some form. I'm, I'm not even sure at this point. Yeah, we're, we're gonna keep driving around till we find one of these uh, things. They look like big stars with things going on in them. And we're also gonna try and go off the... Okay, you know what? Kill this guy again. Uh, we're gonna keep going off road to find the houses if we can find them. So that's just a detection point, for instance. Oh, this one actually has a friend on it. Hey there, friendo. I guess he's busy using the thing, isn't he? And we're gonna talk to this guy, so he's gonna have a message. who told us he had an amazing plan to wipe the cult off the face of the earth. Only problem is, Sharky is weapons grade stupid, and his plan is probably just fire. I'm down with that plan. Yep, yeah, I'm. I could do that. I could live with a plan that's just fire. Uh, so we found person, and also we found a boat. Which, if we're gonna do do things the fun way, kind of makes sense. So yeah, we again, we want to keep on finding places like this, just because they're fast travel points that save us a bit of time later. And I'm I'm willing to bet this right here is gonna be a, uh, uh, a you know like a takedown place. If not, like following just all of this to the corner, it's gonna be a nice little island trip. So worst case scenario, we go on a vacation. Oh, this isn't right. Worst case scenario, we go on a vacation. Best case scenario. Oh, oh god. I hit a dog. My own dog. You know, is it worse to hit your own dog when you're driving us on it? I'm not actually sure. Just shoot them a bunch. Wait until one of them hits him. You know, I'm, there's a lot of vehicles around here. Oh, look at that pool. It's probably not tainted with uh, blitz, so maybe a good idea to check it out. In fact, it's a saber-toothed tiger spray. Now we know the secrets. Oh, civilian save. Hey there, friends. Saved you. You're welcome. 50 RP, please. Uh, get away from that. I think there's like some minimum amount of safety has to get to before it counts. Oh, here we go. Look at that. Uh, risky to do it this way. I know I said something about death, but again, it's okay to take a little bit of a risk. And we have, if it's not an outpost, it's something similar. Get out here. And we'll either take it down or. Oh, it's not an outpost, but it's something way worse. Like. Stuff like this is why you gotta be scared of cults. Like, just that graffiti on the side turns something that would otherwise be fairly innocuous into, like, the scariest thing I've ever seen. Because I guess they did something bad and they got murdered for it. Oh, I bet it's a prepper stash place. Yeah, that's totally what it is. It's somewhere that involves. A stash of some some variety of stash. So, yeah, I guess we're gonna look around, work out the message, because it's gonna say like, "Oh, we left this in next next place." Or maybe there'll just be people around. Oh, there's a lot of them. Send in a dog. Send in a cat. They'll just think it's like animals. They won't have to deal with me. Uh, I have two. Oh, I can't remember this. Yeah, I really need to buy some ammo at some point, I guess. Because I'm clearly not finding it anywhere. I'm loving the double strategy. It works out beautifully. Oh, he's going to see me if these don't connect soon. He saw me. Oh, because my cat's trapped on, like... I didn't even spot my cat. I was so focused on that guy. Okay, so this didn't work according to plan. 
Because how did he even get trapped over there? Oh, can they freak? Okay, let's see if they can get each other up. Oh, no, that's not what she's going for. I'm sorry, doggy. I'm just going to punch the door. Just oh, God, they're getting up. Oh, God. Oh, Kuka. Oh, God, Peaches. What are you capable of? <laughs> I didn't realize. Kind of scared of Peaches now. But yeah, there's totally a stash in there. I should have to find the note first. Because without it, it's much harder to... Uh... You know, actually, can you do proper stashes without finding the notes? Because again, I'm, I'm sure somewhere in here, there is a stash. It's just a matter of where. But I guess we can find that one out, can't we? If it's not a stash, there's, like, there's, there's some reward for this place existing. Or some story purpose. I'm, I don't know, maybe it's just for the MGs, like it's a good storage place for later. But yeah, I think we need, I think you need to find a note. Either because it won't spawn without the note. Oh wait, did you see that? No, there's a map of some form. Like either it doesn't spawn without the note. Oh, it's not a map, it's a, uh... oh, it is the note. Um, permission to betray their friends. It's just a creepy note, it's nothing to do with the whole thing. Oh god, things are pretty trippy here. So I guess getting low in this is better than getting high. It's kind of like ship oriented. These are the dead people, meaning their stuff is somewhere not too far. Because dead people don't have time to move their stuff because they're busy being dead. Usually, anyway. Or maybe not, maybe not, whatever. We're, we're not going to look for a prepper stash, whether it is here or not, because we've got, got bigger things to deal with. Like stealing a boat, apparently. Which is my next little bit of fun. It's one just over there. Oh, it's a speedboat! Heck yeah. Sounds like great fun to me. I mean, the, the dog and the cat can't come with me, but like... Besides that, it's gonna be fun. So again, we wanna follow closely to the road. Oh, that's not even the place I thought was a... This is a, a separate thing to that. So I definitely do wanna get over to there. But given the... You know, this is a lake and it's got four sides that don't look like anything. But that looks like something, so we'll just cross the lake this entire time. There's maybe something in the middle we can check out. Perhaps. I don't like the word in there, but I also love it at the same time. So let me use it in this case, because it vaguely fits what I'm going for. And then we're going to get on land, do some honking on the horn, and just see how far inland we can get. Oh, in fact, there's a truck right there, so not very far. We don't want to get very far, I should say. Hey there, friends. Oh, gosh. How's it going? Oh, no. They're going to kill me. They're going to kill me. Because I can't. No, 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 no. no. I'm, I'm like, my, my brain is actually like in Fortnite mode. It's like, press B. Press RT really quickly. Oh, no. And the cats are too far to hate, help me. Actually, they're coming closer. So I've got two options. I can wait. I said no deaths. So if a cat revives me, that is not dying. So in the meantime, we can just kind of wait here. See what they intend to do about it. You know, this is going to be the longest... See, and their numbers are overlapping, so I can't even tell how close they are. But, like, getting closer slowly, I think? There's a two in there that's not changing, but I... Yeah, I think the cat's getting closer and the dog's not. Maybe cats can swim and dogs can't. Well, I guess it'd be the dog swimming, not the cat. But one of them's, like, right here. Genuinely about to save me. Look at that. No deaths. I made a promise. I'm sticking to it. And when I come back to life, they don't even know I'm here. So I can take them down slowly one by one. That's nice. A couple hostiles down there. One of them's a VIP, so I do want to take him down. Send him for that. Peaches is like all the way on the other side of the shore. I was right, the dog came for me. The cat didn't. So I'm sorry when I said that dogs were better than cats. I didn't mean to say that. Okay, just attack him from behind. Easy stuff. 50 RP. So, uh, yeah. Look at me. Doing, doing nice things for the community. And then we've got the Hawkspring Hotel. Again, this has to be a fortress. It has a tower. See the green thing? That's how we know it's an outpost. That's what we came here to do. That's what we're ending with. I love these so much, right? I can't even, again, I, I can't even describe why they're so fun beyond, like, it's the stealth thing. But we're doing this in stealth, or at least we're trying. And true stealth this time. True stealth. But, you know, I failed that many times before, so... Oh god, no, I didn't want to didn't go inside. So this is dangerous, you don't really want to be inside. 
So, whether you use the science bit or not, this is good. Oh god. Oh, look, the dog, the dog let himself in. That's nice. <laughs> Somewhere between cute and scary. We're gonna take him out and then run upstairs, take out the other one. Because as soon as he passes, he's not gonna look back behind him. Oh no, he is. He's gonna look around the corner. So yeah, he has to be taken down. Like, even if we do this, not that way. Then we're gonna drag the body. Oh god, oh god. Oh god. Okay, we're gonna take him outside the door. Okay. And then we're gonna peek around the window. As long as no one sees me, or even, like, well, as soon as that goes white once, there's like a difference in how the game perceives everything. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> uh, I think there's probably a perk that will let me drag bodies without having to, like, wait a few seconds between doing it. It's a little bit annoying, the delay. Do another thing here. He's looking slightly this way. So it's probably better to go up those stairs rather than these stairs. Again, we're doing this one purely stealth. I promise myself. And that's the most important thing. Look at me, okay. We have to drag this body with me too. Oh wait, I heard something. There's some bullets going on. They might be going for the dogs. I hope the dogs aren't. Yeah, the, okay, the cat ruined it for everyone. I hope that doesn't count as them spawning me. They can't tell there's a human here, there's just a wild cat. Wild cat and a wild dog broken. Happens all the time, you know? No reason to suspect there might be a human around. Then we go to the top floor where I bet there's more people. We're gonna have to be super careful about this, but we'll just charge at them. Oh, there's a locked door. There's the map of the local area. There's a, a crumpled letter that about some crazy stuff. Oh, and then there's a little guard tower. So if we did want to do this from range, which is totally an okay idea, because we have ammo now, we'd have to do it in a really careful order, like work out who we can kill, who we can kill, who we can kill. Oh god. So yeah, there is, oh, there's a certain distance from person to person. Okay, we're gonna jump down to this guy. Take down from above. Yeah! <laughs> Feels good. Feels good. Uh, the animals have to be revived soon, otherwise I have to wait 15 minutes, I think. So we're gonna take this guy around the corner. And I think there's only two more. I could be wrong. But it seems that way to me. So once one of them passes the other one. They're walking in circles, so it's... It's gonna be really tricky to do this one. Oh, they're talking about like Facebook friends and stuff. Okay, walk behind her. Oh no, he's getting. Like, they're getting too close to each other. It has to be a one by one pickup. So I could go for the bullet for both their heads together. But again, using weapons, it's kind of against. Oh no, the. He's dying. I guess we should revive the cat. Or the dog. Just don't, don't do stuff, okay? Right, go over there, go over there. So Peaches is temporarily unavailable. That, you know, this music is a fitting, like, funeral music for Peaches. I love her. She didn't deserve it. One more neck to break now. Oh, no, 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 no. He spotted something, so. He hasn't spotted me. That's what counts. Yeah, did it. Not only with no alarms, undetected. I wonder what the bonus for undetected is. Achievement, maybe? Something good, you know? They didn't even, they didn't even know someone was up. They're just like, you know, there's a dog broken. Suddenly my friend's dead on the floor. And okay, I'm dead too. My neck was broken. Didn't even have to break the alarms. So now we can keep them. Use them in our, you know, civilization. Sounds good to me. A thousand dollar and you get a car. It's a terrible car, but like, I mean... It's the gesture that counts, right? Great job freeing up the Hotel. See, I told you that's what, that, you know, there's, there's some fun moments like that going on. And he's going to tell me where another outpost is. Maybe you can help me with something else, too. That place is haunted. Oh, I want the key. Oh, that message was about the key for the door. I didn't read it, but it totally was. You're not going to believe me? 
There's a crazy ass bear in Lydia's cave. The cult yes, used that drug to try and turn it into some kind of weaponized super. Oh, I got the fifty person speak thing. It didn't work, and it got loose. It's nasty as all. Get oh, out that's the bear. Tough. That's the third companion. We sent a bunch of people to kill it, but none of them came back. I'm hoping so I'll skip got this. Takes to get yeah, it's the first. The there's bear. there's three animal companions. There's the dog. There's the cat. And there's that one, as it turns out. So we're gonna read the message again because it totally has something to do with the key. Um, no, it didn't actually. Okay, I was wrong. I made a guess. My guess was wrong. But there's some way in there. It's a locked room. So the balcony is gonna be the easiest way, I reckon. You know, if you can't get into a locked room, then climb in the window, you know, or a locked door, I guess. Climb in the window. Always working advice. It's a pretty steep roof thing. Climb over the. Oh no! Oh god. <laughs> Is there a grappling hook? Or do I have to like climb back on? There's, there's a grappling hook there. I'm gonna get in that room. Again, just because the door is locked, it's not gonna stop me. Just because I don't wanna solve their puzzles. See, I'm, I, I'm hoping we can do another one of these undetected so we can be like silent but deadly today. That'd be a nice little award, right? Shall we? I guess to be careful, we'll walk along the flat bit and then just jump over the edge here. Does that work? Oh, that's the only one with a door. Here we go. In the locked room. Can't stop me, locked door. If there's a key in here, then I guess I'll know that it was a one-way thing. Is... God damn it, Junior. This thing even Wonder why there's no subtitles for this. You're doing a great job, Daddy. I know I'm What's doing the message there? Only ghost I believe in the Holocaust. Okay, just crazy stuff. Oh, and here is the key. Yes, I was meant to break in. Break in. Because it's a hotel. He locked himself in. It makes sense, actually. So one of the one of the perks I want to buy is a welding tool. Because if, if you buy the repair torch, I can repair vehicles, which is probably not going to happen very often. But I can also... I don't know where you actually do it. One of these is going to be this. Utility. There we go. Repair torch. We can just blow away into the safe. I guess we blow along the hinges. There we go. That takes a long time actually. It's easier just to blow it up. And we got some more silver bars. Maybe I should buy some to top that up. Good idea, right? Boy, I love spending money on, on fun single player games. Honestly, I buy the games just for the microtransactions. Like, that's all that gets me excited about games these days. I, there is clearly people out there like that. Or at least there's enough people buying them that it's worth inconveniencing the rest of us under the assumption that they'll make more money for the people in the world. It's like, let's be honest, it's the same thing with me, like, though. If you pay me a dollar, I'll read out your name on stream. And if you pay me, like, a thousand dollars, you know what? We'll spend ten minutes doing something on stream or something together. You know, like, I, I know, I'm, I'm making up, like, things here. It's never come up, but, like, hypothetically, if it was the case, but, like, that person cares a thousand dollars much, so his opinion outweighs... You know, the 90 percent And maybe that's me being a bad person, I'd say I'd do that. Like, I mean, anyone would. I think I'm just being the normal person who's actually saying it. So since I don't want to die, I should use a medkit. But instead... Easy stuff, though. We'll do the same with this guy. Easy. I think I've blown my dog, though. Throw one over there as well. Easy. Oh, one more, really? <laughs> and then in exchange, I get some loot of some form. Civilian rescued as well. Didn't even realize I was doing that. Was just kind of messed about here. Oh, maybe if I get like a... If I can find a truck, I can link that up in some way, maybe? That's a cool idea. Oh, no. So there's... There's Chosen along the river now. Because I got enough RP. The game just hit too well, Okay, so I'm gonna have to take down this bear. It's gonna be a little bit terrifying. You wanna come at me? You wanna come at me? 1v1 me, bro. You wanna do this? Yeah, you don't. Yeah, that's what I thought. I should stop. I guess they're gonna be pretty scared by the bear, though. So that's good. Yeah, just get scare, just scaring them with the bear. Oh my god! It's coming right at me. What the heck is that animal? 
like a buffalo or something? You know, buffaloes, buffaloes don't exist, do they? Like the city's named buffalo, but no real life buffalo that I'm aware of. Yeah, I'm glad in this area that it's like just boats with enforcements rather than. Oh no, no, no! There's a. some whole thing coming out of me. Oh, this thing's gonna explode. Right here. So we're just gonna get the car that's nearby here, get out of there, and then take down another outpost. That is clearly what I'm needed for. Oh, it's a VIP. This makes my life. and I can't just. So we're gonna need a throwing knife to do this. So another med kit in his order. So, I'm gonna throwing knife this guy because it's the only way to one hit him, I think. Oh, assuming we don't get bombarded with a rocket of some form. So, I oh, not just a rocket, there we go. He's gonna try and do that classy way. But at some point, you lose the right to class. And that point is definitely passed. But this guy, got a med kit again. Oh, there's bullets coming from. Multiple angles. Just you guys, you, you, you're really dragging down my mood, you know? I'm just here trying to have a good time. And these guys, they just don't understand. They don't understand. You know? gonna drive for a field of drugs, because again, you drive best when you're a little bit high. Well known fact. <laughs> again, it's, all the race car drivers are doing it, so it's totally okay. I'm gonna drive this way, because we know there's a fortress there. Oh, it's a clutch Nixon. Never mind. We'll drive to the clutch next anyway, just because I want to give that a try too. It sounds just as fun as a fortress after we run this fast over. Again, they're evil people, so it's like, hey, okay, let's do that. Remember, they're in cults. Even if they don't know they're in cults, they're still in cults. Which makes them questionable people. Yeah, we can we can call into like the history. Question whether they should be doing what they're doing. Oh. Hello there, friend. That's a pretty easy way to take them down, actually. They come back from life when gun loves. So maybe not the best one. Run across this thing. That looks to be a... Oh, that's... Oh, that's a friendly. I can revive him, and then he's saved. Yeah, it still counts as rescued if I don't revive him. So it's probably not worth the time, but... You know, I did run him over. I guess I do deserve... He does deserve that much. Uh, niceness. And... Now what from here? Because we crossed the river. I know I'm checking the map a lot, but like... It's important to stay informed. No, we just crossed the river for no reason. So we're gonna hop down into that boat. Because it'd be kind of inch I wanna see what hopes the chosen one looks like. Fake's chosen one, sorry. Look what like. So I'm gonna hop in oh the boat's quite far away actually. Although if we hop off the mountain, how about we wingsuit it? Yeah, that's wingsuit. Let's go. I know I said no deaths, but I'm being very careful. You can trust me when I say that. Oh yeah. This is good stuff. Oh, that's probably the patrol boat right there. Try and land on this thing. Oh god, I'm in the water. Well, there is a boat. Oh, trying to run me over, apparently. Basically did, too. Fly myself. Yeah, it's a fly vehicle. So yeah, there's a... I guess the instead of doing just like the trucks from last time, it's like a measurable... There's only five boats to get. So like Every time we do that, we're helping the world out, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh, and there is actually one of those uh, outposts over there. You can see it on the map. See, it's, a, it's all working out until it gets away today. And it's only 120 meters away. I'd wingsuit over there. Maybe I should wingsuit over there. Should I? Yeah, worst case scenario, I land in the river, right? Best case, I land over it. Parachute up. Somehow it takes me into the sky a little bit. Not gonna question it because it works out in my favor. <laughs> There's a lot of things like that in the world actually where like, you just kind of, you know it shouldn't work the way, but like it works, so you kind of go with it. And I think it's an okay thing. Okay, so we're gonna do one more stealth take down, then I have to go, I've got a stream to be attending. But I wanna show off my, my stealth abilities first. So there's a tunnel under here, and I do intend to check it out, but first, we're going to scan the place with our binoculars. Just to make sure we know where everyone and everything is. Anyone up top? Not that I can see. Oh, you can set priority targets for those too. That's kind of cool. So yeah, this little tunnel down here. Seems like you'll pick it. Oh, a little note. Oh, it's not a real note. 
Seems like it's a good place to start. Oh, I can... Okay, so I... This is this is the reason the welding torch is useful. So if I'm behind enemy anyway, I can just come into the place. Repair the safe. Oh, there's a little part. I, I missed that part. I take all the goodies. Oh yeah, guess who's rich in money and in silver bars. Now I can buy like 0.1 of the thing in the store rather than 0.07. So everything's... Oh no! 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 Oh. It didn't put me back into crouch mode. And then I also take damage and work. It just made me punch. So, okay. I kind of want to leave this place and come back and try it again. I'm going to see if that's an option right now, just because like, I feel like it's more fun. More satisfying to do it that way. So we're just going to get out of here. Going to go back somewhere that we've previously seen. Or in fact, we can just drive away and then come back. As you know, I, I want to be fast. Again, I've got a stream I've got to be <laughs> getting back to. So we'll go back to the Horn Serpent Cave. Which abandons my current little outpost. We'll check it out for a few seconds, then we'll go back. Because it seems depressing just to travel one way, then travel back. But it seems less depressing if there's like a real journey that happens in between. So don't blow that thing. Oh, this is, this is Serpent's Cave. So yeah, there's something inside here, I'm sure. Like, that makes it worthwhile as a location. Besides bees, of course. Bees. Bees are... Oh god. Now I have to swap bees. <laughs> it's the same as the fire animation. Bees. Oh god. You do not want bees on your fun pack. Really, really do not recommend bees. Oh, I'm, I'm medkitting by accident. That's fine. That's fine. So now we can... We probably should check the rest of this place out. Like, is there anything interesting? It said there's a cave, but I don't see it. There's also an arcade poster. Again, we can get high and stare at it if we want to. But I'm here to take on this. Oh, we can't. We have to drive back there. So we should have met, found the nearest fast travel. Whatever, it's, it's not far. We have a vehicle. Yeah, someone started a fire. What a crazy, crazy person. Who would do that? You know, fire? Who would? Who do they think they are for doing that? That's that's just not okay. It's not on, you know. Fires are fires are just dangerous stuff. So we get high in the field for a bit. Look how much more wonderful the world gets when you're high. Not real life advice, but semi real life advice. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna wingsuit there, but do it better this time. Assuming no vehicle comes to get me. Hey there, friend. So yeah, there's a lot of high people along the streets in this, which is. Somewhere between depressing and scary. You know, maybe we're not going to make it back there. Like I hope we would. Yeah, we have to climb the mountain, get down. Oh, hello, friend. Give him a few punches. Uh, yeah, I guess we're going to have to... It's it's quite some... It's going 700 meters is, like, easy sometimes. But sometimes when you've just been there and you thought you could get back. I think it's really about inconvenience of, like, versus what you thought it would take. That's how you really define it. Oh, and there's a base jump. Where's the base jump? Should we go do the game's base jump? Yeah, I said I have to be somewhere, and I really do. Okay, kick, kick the kick the tent foot. Okay, she's gone. Whatever. I'm gonna go for the base jumping spot. The sign said it's this way. And the cat is following me. Oh, I missed, I missed. Oh god, this is not working for me. Oh, it doesn't It doesn't kill the, the cat. Oh no, that will kill the cat. Okay, it did. I mean, it worked. It wasn't the the ideal, but it worked. So yeah, from here we can do some base jumping. But rather than base jump, what if we didn't base jump? Okay, that's not, a, that's not an option right now. A little annoying. Oh, and there's more of these things. Oh no, these are dead. These are fine to hunt. So, okay, there we go. It's downhill. It's like a perfect stretch. Oh, there's a guy. I have guns, too. But now I'm here mostly... Oh, God. <laughs> it's just not working today. Okay, this this is high enough, definitely, right? There we go. And we can follow the path down. Oh, we have to be really careful about this. We're going to keep as much altitude as we humanly can. Because even though we know there's a, a big river thing coming up. And then we'll switch out to parachute. Gives me the height I need. 
and then we can do this one more time because this is how I did it before. Then we're breaking in and we're doing this by stealth. Okay, let's go. Okay, wait. No, it's just making me. That's lame. <laughs> okay, so that's. It's the problem with like consistent mechanics in game. Oh, it's a it's a river that gets me high too, and it's downstream, so I'm gonna get higher and lose my balance. What is that? Oh, they're fish! Because the world's beautiful, because I'm on drugs. That's nice. It'd be weird if it turned out that it's nighttime, I'm just imagining it's day, right? I hope that's not the, uh, the case. Okay, so... Real talk. Let's take this place down by stealth. We've got a, we fought a lot to make this happen. So it's only fair that it actually works. There's a lot of people inside there. We have to avoid all of them. Oh, that's a person. Yeah, that's all the people we can get from here. I think the longer we spend in the area... Oh, gosh. No, 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 Oh. God, I don't know how I would have made that better if that had gone down. So, yeah, let's try and liberate this place. Little by little. There's lots of heavies, so there's, like, good reason to liberate it. Oh, because everyone's on Bliss. Now, music. Oh no, 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 no! They heard. Okay, you know what? It's not undetected. I went for a lot for this. I didn't see that guy. I spent my whole time on the. Oh, I don't have a medkit either. It's over. It's over. It's not over. We can sneak behind him now. Now he doesn't know I'm here. Nailed it. There's a little tunnel down here somewhere, right? Oh, not over here. Oh, the alarm's even going. No. I tried my hardest. You know what? We did one this mission. My dream was to do it. And I did it. I just won't be able to repeat it. Either. That's all that's changed. Do lots of these. Oh, that's a sharpshooter. So there's a truck that just arrived, which means I need to take down the spare truck. Oh no, the truck's not here yet. Someone is there. Take them out. Oh, there's the truck. Make sure we get that, come on. Before it's too late. So the more time you give them to disperse, the harder it is to kill them one by one, you know. There we go, we did it. At least mostly. There's another truck going somewhere down the side. But that's, that's not a real concern. Look at me, I did the little outpost. Mostly. Oh, there, 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 there. It's done. One more. Oh, there's another truck. That's easy to take out. Come on. Come on. Oh. Easy. So I'm out of rocket ammo now, which is a shame. There's a lot of these guys that come. Up. Is it really that big an emergency? You know? Like, I guess so, apparently. They send like five trucks off this one place. Like, I guess if it's one of their distribution centers or something like that. Oh, it takes two grenades to take it. Oh, two. It takes dynamite instead. There we go. Mostly dead. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's that. Nailed it. Okay, so that was like basically no alarms. Like, besides the alarms and the non stealth and the dying and all that sort of stuff. We didn't actually die in that one. We did pretty well. And now the alarms, t the, the alert tower stays red forever. Later, when we've done them all, I'm actually going to try that outpost master thing. It sounds like it could be fun. But now, though, look at that. Pouring away all their bliss. Go us. We nailed it. Yeah. Outpost liberated. It's actually a really solid way to get the points, too. It's just a shame we can't do it all the way. But I guess then I wouldn't ever do anything else. So I guess that's why. It makes sense on some level. So I'm going to buy some ammo, and I'll join you in the next part after I get back from a live stream which I'll be doing in literally